Good morning, everyone. Today is the 24th of August, 2021, Tuesday morning. And what the what God's people need right now is encouragement <laughs> with everything going on. The handwriting is on the wall, is it not? Like it was in the Old Testament. Many, many tickle ye Farson. Remember that? And the devil's kingdom is going to be snatched away from him very shortly. And he's going to be cast into the bottomless pit. And there will be wheeling, weep, weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. But God's people are the apple of his eye. He that toucheth you touches the apple of his eye. In all their afflictions he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. He, he hath looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heavens did the Lord behold the earth. <clears throat> when Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in his spirit and was troubled. Jesus wept. For in that he himself hath suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. He was a man of sorrows and acquainted with griefs, each touched with the feelings of our infirmities. He himself took our infirmities and bare our sickness. Jesus, being wearied with his journey, set thus on the well. Well, you know, now they have approved, the FDA has approved the Pfizer vaccine, the poison vaccine. Whenever the federal government approves poison, mandates poison being put into your body, we know we have problems, don't we? Scripture tells us that time will come when they will call evil good and good evil. That's exactly what they're doing. They're telling everybody, this vaccine is good for you. Everybody needs to take it for the love your mankind, Pope Francis says. Love your mankind and take the vaccine. Take the poison. The serpent is a subtle, subtle beast. He was the most subtle beast that was placed in the yard of Eden. Well, we are to be harmless as doves. But you know what? There's another part of that, too. We are to be... We all also are to be cognizant of what the subtle beast is all about. There's a lot of people that want to proclaim what Christ has done, but they never want to reveal who the enemy is enemy is I've been around preachers that never talk about Roman Catholicism and they never talk about the beast they never talk about the woman that rides the beast but now we see it very clearly in front of our eyes don't we but I want to remind you that if you're in Christ you're the apple of his eye and he has already gained the victory for us regardless of what we might go through in this world God bless.